Okay, fellas, uh, today I'd like to make a video, uh, a breakdown of everything in this 327 engine, okay? Uh, I've been promising you this video, and I'm going to try my best to uh, give you a good description of everything in this engine and what's been done to it, okay? I picked this engine up uh, real cheap. I got very lucky with this engine block. Uh, I ran the numbers on it after I picked it up. Turns out to be a 65 Corvette engine block. Uh, it needed to be uh, cleaned up and everything. All I got was the block and the crank. And the crank was steel. Okay. In addition, uh, it was a standard bore. It had never been bored over, which is very rare to find one of these old uh, 327s that haven't been bored over already. Okay, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> All right. All right, from there, I took it to the shop. Uh, we bored it over 30. The crank had already been uh, cut down 10-10. We had to go 20-20 on a crank, all right? No big deal. So that's the original crank in there. And uh, I just want to say every bolt, nut and bolt on this engine is ARP. I use nothing but the best when I do an engine from bare bones. Uh, let's see. Uh, the oil pan, I did get with it. Uh, the motor mounts and the fan, a couple other items, but I don't want to get off, the, off track here. Okay, back to the block. It had been hot tanked, magna flux, you know, shot peened, you know, cleaned up, bored over 30. Uh, it has been decked. It has been line bored. Uh, all new cam bearings, all new main bearings. Uh... All, put it this way, all the bearings are uh, made by Clevet, I believe the name is. All right, uh, we went with a Melling high volume uh, oil pump. And uh, let's see, so much to get in here. I'm trying to remember everything. Okay, the, the connecting rods are uh, made by Eagle and they're forged. The pistons themselves are forged. They were made by uh, Speed Pro. Okay, there uh, the compression on them is 10-3 to one. Uh, they they have a slight, there's uh, you know a dome top piston. They have a little little step up on them, so you know they're they're, they're not the flat pistons. Is what I'm trying to say. I showed you them in the other video. Okay, now. Uh, the cam and lifters is made by comp cams it's a uh, an l79 plus nostalgia cam uh the numbers i don't have handy on me but it's a nice lift on here it's almost uh, it's like 480 something lift it's gonna have a nice idle to it all right uh let's see got a double roller timing chain by coils uh, let's see, uh, the heads are aluminum. I got those from, a, a Patriot Performance. They're the Freedom Series. 202 valves. Uh, they have the guide plates, uh, you know, the, the, the brass, uh, guides, everything. They're real nice heads. Okay, uh, I had to go with the comp cam magnum push rods which are plus 100 thousandths uh, because I went with these heads so they need it to be a little bit longer all right uh, also I have the comp cam roller rockers in here uh, let's see I went with a big 8 inch harmonic balancer uh, just because it's a lot easier on the crank, you know, through time, it's just, uh, 
I know they're internally balanced, but this gives you a much better life of the engine when you're running a heavier uh, harmonic balancer. Okay, getting to the front end, the water pump, the guy had this here short one laying around, so I grabbed it. So that's the reason why I went with these pulleys, because I had the water pump and the fan, blah, blah, so I just threw it on there. Okay, down here we have an Elderbrock mechanical fuel pump. I think this pushes like 200 gallons an hour or something's crazy. So that's going to be working out good. Uh, intake is a old uh, Scorpion intake by Elderbrock. It, uh, it's actually brand new. It's just been laying in a box like from the late 70s. I managed to score one. I got my hands on it, so I grabbed it. Uh, on top of that, we have a, a 650 double pumper poly that's been completely rebuilt and jetted out just for this engine from a buddy of mine, okay? Uh, the distributor that I'm going to be using at this point to break it in is an old Mallory dual point. I probably will change this, but I'm going to use it to, uh, to break it in for now because I had it laying around. This is in the 60s too. This is old school. And an old Mallory uh, coil. Of course, we're going to have headers. Uh, downstairs, I have the uh, an original GM pressure plate. Uh, the numbers, I forget, but it's off the big block uh, Chevelles. It's one of the best uh, pressure plates that they actually made. So, uh, let's see. I don't know, I probably forgot about a half a dozen things, I'm sure, but that's where I'm at right now with this engine. And uh, like I said, I have a starter. I have to get uh, that put on, the wires, and then I have to do your regular wiring. And I'm going to put a, uh, I have a radiator downstairs. I'm going to rig something up with a radiator so I can run water into the block when I break this in. Uh, let's see <clears throat> This will be getting a four-speed m21 trans is going to be put a bolted up on this I have the bell housing down the cellar That's all ready to go so uh, The end result of this whole project is going to be uh, Going into a, a 68 or 69 Chevelle I've been looking around. I almost bought one uh, about a month back a uh, guy decided he uh, changed his mind. He didn't want to let it go. So, uh, I don't have it at this point. I have to uh, keep my eyes open for that. But anyway, uh, this is coming along. It's almost done. I just need a few more things. Like I said, I need headers, the starter, wiring. Oh, uh, the alternator. I got a nice chrome alternator coming. And I'm going to have to... Uh, mess with the uh, different types of uh, brackets you know so it's really only about a handful of thing things left to do here and uh, and I should be done with this I can't wait to hear it run but I wanted to let you guys know everything that's in it and uh, if you have any other questions feel free to ask uh, and that's it so I just wanted to let you all know that it's coming along great I think it's looking pretty good and uh, have a good day, everybody. Uh, keep your projects going. And, uh, you know, sometimes I know it gets tough, this and that you run into, but down in the, you know, down the road, it's worth it. So uh, keep up the good work, everybody. Take care. Have a good day.